This is a short tutorial on making an object, object hollow to save on material for 3D printing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the highest subdivision level, create a morph target that's going to be used for subtracting from the inner side of the mesh. So I'm going to load an image that's my um, image that's just showing me the thickness of the object. I prepared it for one sixth of the scale and um, edges are about one millimeter thick. I'm going to go to the lowest subdivision level, I mean middle. Now I'm going to um, create an object that will serve me as a guide for the outer shell of the object. And I'm going to add the newly created object. If I turn on the transparency, I will be able to see both of them at the same time. Now I can go to the lowest subdivision level and I will start deflating the inner side until it matches roughly the width of the edge. So you can see it's, it's about the same width. Okay, I can turn on off the object, the reference one, and I can smooth crease a bit because the new geometry has a lot of uh, problematic polygons and edges. Okay, I have to hollow out a bit. Eyes, nose, ears, you see there's a lot of, there was a lot of protruding area there. Now go up the subdivision level, smooth it out a bit more, all the way to the highest level. Now you can see it's much better now, nothing protrudes. Hollow out a bit more. Now if I create a different mesh, I will have it... It, it looks weird, but it's the best way to see if the distances are good. Now you can see there are some problematic areas, the ears are too thin. Uh, I could fix the nose a bit, so I'm on the original mesh, holding out these problematic areas a bit more. Okay, that should be pretty good. It is much better. I'm gonna save it just in case. And this time, oh, I forgot to go to the high subdivision level. This time I am switching first, so this way I'm creating correct geometry and as you can see the thickness is pretty good now but hmm, the neck is probably problematic it protrudes a bit and I'll have to fix that I what I also like to do is make the edges a bit thicker it can create a um, problem with printing otherwise it should be pretty good now you can smooth it out a bit more Creating a different mesh, okay, it looks better. Now we can smooth out edges a bit more. This is a mesh lab. You can import it and I have to decimate because the object is now too big for 3D printing services. So what I'm going to do is decimate it. But mesh lab has a filter with decimation preserving the texture. So um, I'm going to set for 5k polygons. Apply, export it as OBJ, and import it into NetFab. In NetFab, I'll have to scale the model. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to measure it. Currently, the height of the head is 1.56 millimeters diagonally, and by Z it's 1.48. You have the formula on the screen how to scale it correctly. So I'm going to scale it to 42 millimeters, and the scale is 28.7. I'm going to go to the select the mesh, edit, uh, sorry, part scale, and I'm going to type the the number. Now, if I recheck the measurement, it should be about 42 millimeters, and you can see DZ is. 
42 millimeters. Since even the mesh lab can't create a perfect object, we have to repair it here. And clicking the repair, you can see that there are 50, 26 holes. Automatic repair, execute, and there's one more step that I often forget, so I have to emphasize it. You have to apply the repair. Holes are fixed, we can remove the old part. And we have to exp we can export it. I'm exporting STL because I don't need the texture for this project. But uh, yeah, we have to repair it one more one more time. Export, and then you can go to your favorite um, 3D printing service. Upload the model there. The same process is for shapeways for I materialize sculptio where our service. Okay. Takes a bit to upload. Make sure you switch the correct units. Fixed side, scale one, because we already scaled it. I like to scale it in the NetFab instead of this. Because I have more control and I'm, and I'm sure that it's gonna be correct. And here it is. We can check, we can we have the option for solidity check to make sure that there is no edge that is too thin. That's it. Print it and enjoy your model.